Hello, and welcome to Know Before You Go, a program of the Dominican Central Province of St. Albert the Great that allows us to take a look ahead at the upcoming weekend's readings. I am Father Jim Marchanda, and I am happy to be with you once again as we now approach the 13th Sunday in Ordinary Time. This Sunday, the readings challenge us to the core of our Christianity. The first reading comes from 1 Kings. The second reading comes from Paul's letter to the Galatians, and the third from the Gospel of Luke. In both the first reading from Kings and the Gospel of Luke, we receive a message about following the Word of God. In the first reading, Elijah, the prophet, the great prophet, is looking for an heir, someone to follow him and step up and to be prophet. And the way they did it in that those days, he would go and throw his cloak over someone. And whoever he threw his cloak over was the one to follow in his footsteps and become prophet. He sees Elisha, who's out in the field with the oxen, serving his family, his parents, and he goes over to him, throws the cloak over Elisha, naming him his successor. And Elisha, who wants to follow, who wants to go in the footsteps of Elijah and become the prophet, says, first, let me go and prepare my family for my departure. And he sells all the oxen. He sells everything so that his family will be cared for because he will never see them again. And that happens. And then he follows Elijah. Now, the gospel parallels that, but in a rather strong way, indicating even more of an urgency about following the word of God. In Luke's gospel, Jesus calls someone. And he says to him, let me go first and bury my father. And then I will come and follow you. And Jesus says what appears to be really harsh words. Jesus says, let the dead bury their dead. Now, there was no indication that the father had actually died. It could be he was just waiting for him to die before he left. But Jesus says there's a greater urgency here than even that. And then he says to someone else, come and follow me. And the young person says, let me go just say goodbye to my family first and get things in order. And Jesus says, you can't look backwards if you're going to move forwards. Pretty strong. In some ways, it sounds sort of heartless on the part of Jesus. And it's in contrast to that first reading with Elisha and Elijah, where Elisha was allowed to go and prepare his family for his departure. Jesus is indicating there's an even greater urgency here. And I want us not to think of Jesus in negative terms, of course, but for us to receive the urgency. That's the basic point. We don't need to judge Jesus. This is not about Jesus being harsh. This is about a truth of the urgency of following Jesus and the urgency of promoting the Word of God. At its base, that is the most important lesson we should receive from that. Now, earlier in the Gospel, earlier, it says that Jesus is resolute about returning to Jerusalem. And in order to do that, he has to pass through Samaria. The Samaritans hated the Jews, and they hated Jerusalem. So Jesus sends disciples ahead of him to prepare the way. And when they get to Samaria and tell them that they need to cross through on their way to Jerusalem, the Samaritans refuse passage. They say, no, you are not welcome here. James and John, the two very faithful disciples who are dealing with this situation, tell this to Jesus. And they're so angry. And they say, Lord, should we call on the heavens to throw down a ball of fire and destroy them right where they live? And the gospel says, Jesus rebuked them. 
for that kind of thinking. And they went by a different route. When I think about urgency, the urgency of following Jesus, the urgency of the Word of God being alive in our time, in our day, I think maybe the urgency has to do with that first part of the gospel where the disciples' natural inclination was to destroy the people that opposed them. And Jesus rebuked them. Jesus said, no, that's not the thinking. That cannot be your thinking if you are with me. And I think of all the wars going on today. I think of all the retaliatory attacks that go on throughout the world today. I think of all the feelings of retaliation that some of us might be experiencing toward Russia because of their invasion of Ukraine today. I think of all the things in which we are naturally moved, even if for righteous reasons, we are naturally moved toward fighting, toward retaliation, toward paybacks. And what we need to hear, the urgent message we need to hear, no matter how justified we think we are in our opinions, we need to hear Jesus rebuked them for that same kind of thinking in today's gospel. And they found an alternative way of going. My friends, that's the message. And that's the urgency. That's what prophecy is all about. That's what Jesus is all about, always. And we need to hear it in our day more than in any day I remember in my lifetime. Find an alternate way. Let's find an alternate way. Getting even, retaliation, persisting in weapons, persisting in war has nothing to do with God. With every thought you and I might have, even when we get so angry at some of the negative things going on in the world today, whatever thought you and I might have that would incline us to pay back, let us hear today's gospel, that when James and John wanted to punish them for not welcoming them through, Jesus the scripture says, rebuked them. Today, Jesus will rebuke us over and over again. Let us think this weekend about the urgency of the word of God, especially as it relates to war, to fighting, to revenge, to retaliation, to any, any kind of payback. That cannot be who we are. God bless you and your families.